<laughs> Greetings. <laughs> Welcome to America. Hi. How are you doing? Hi, I'm Tim. Yeah. I'm From a TV show. Oh. Maple Mafia? Yes, sir. I am. You're now in the Maple Mafia. <laughs> Thanks for making the trip over. I've been, Thank I've been you so excited to show you around North Carolina. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Well, welcome to our nursery. Let's show you around. Yeah, we're excited. Yes, very excited. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. This is one of our most popular Japanese maples. This is a Makawi Yatsubusa. Oh. Wow. We do a lot of mail orders, so what we primarily do is take trees that are shippable sizes and then they'll package them up, send them out mm -hmm. uh, directly to the customer. So the Buckholtz farm, you'll have to come visit it one day. It's wholesale. It sells to the other garden centers, mm -hmm. but here we sell kind of directly to the customer. Wow, that's amazing. So a lot of this will get packaged up, shipped out all over the U.S. That's crazy. Yeah, this is uh, one called uh, Kuranai Jishi. Yes. Stays real low uh, and uh, leaves out red in the spring. Wow. That should yeah. be beautiful. Well, yes. You're just a little early on fall color. At about the end of October, mm -hmm. we'll start to get some pretty good fall color in here wow. through the first few weeks of November, typically. Mm -hmm. We just had an open house here, too, where we had about 700 people show up at Labor Day, so wow. imagine it's pretty crazy around here with yeah, all these people, yeah, but it, yeah, gets, it gets busy quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is kind of the primary sizes we grow. Uh, and we try to find um, the best thing to get them on our tenant tens. Our tenant tens kind of give us the ability to pick things that are ready that week and get them listed. Mm -hmm. And uh, if they're not looking great or not quite ready, we don't have to list them that week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, Moonrise. Moonrise. Yes. A lot of nice apricot growth over top mm. of that kind of lime green. Mm -hmm. It is an uh, Easter Shira Solomonum. Mm -hmm. So it is, you know, a pretty neat full moon Japanese maple. Mm. Wow. Moon rice. This is one I named for my daughter. Uh, wow. I'll to meet them. We'll go to dinner later and you can meet Carolina. But this is one called Pink Princess. Mm. Pink Princess. So it's a, uh, it was found as a mutation on mm. Bini Shishihinga, which is like a smaller form. Mm -hmm. Kind of makes more of a round, like mm. small ball. Wow. But uh, Amy was pregnant with my daughter when we named this one. So I had to get Adorable. a Pink Princess in there. Yeah. Mm. But been a popular one for us. Been a good one. Mm. Wow. Pink Princess. Mm, pink Princess. <laughs> princess. Pink. Princess. Princess. <laughs> Come on through. So we mostly grow everything in these kind of like hoop houses like this. Cool. Um, let's just control all the water and the temperature. Our main products are one gallons. We ship a lot of them all over the United States. Mm -hmm. um, but a little bit of everything. We do a lot of other stuff besides maples, yeah. even though maples are our main product. Here's actually one we talked about oh. in the, uh, the update. Wow. Uh, on our last uh, Where Are They Now kind of episode, <laughs> yeah. they talked about uh, showing you some trees that reminded us of Naka Komodo weeping. Yes, yes. Uh, so this one is a weeping style we named here uh, after a local waterfall called Looking Glass Falls. We'll have to take you over and show you Looking Glass Falls. <laughs> wow. uh, weeping has a little bit of a purple border in the early spring, yeah. so it has a little purple around yeah. it. Mm -hmm. But uh, kind of a, a great grandbaby maybe of Naka yeah. Komodo weeping. Wow, this is beautiful. Mm. Yes. The shape is so unique. It gets about as big as we stake it. Like we'll stake it up to about, you know, four or five feet and then let it just kind of weep mm -hmm. down from there. Mm -hmm. But kind of cool. We try to stick with the kind of the traditional style of naming some of the forms after local waterfalls too, which is something we have a lot of here in Western North Carolina. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> Very cool. Tim, I'll let you head on through. Yeah. Uh, Yokome. <laughs> One thing that was a little lost on translation, we were in Japan, I was visiting a nursery and the gentleman kept saying, mm -hmm. Yokume. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, I have Yokume. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, another Yokome. Like, oh, Yoko. Well, I thought Yokome was the cultivar, like Looking Glass Falls. I thought it was the. Right. I didn't realize it was the species. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, you start to learn. So, I had one here that uh, was brought back by a college, mm -hmm. and it was Stewardia Pseudocamellia cultivar Yokome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, oh, well, there's a lot of Yokome, and it was really yeah, fun. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, Nakata san, there's one Tim wants to show you in here. We talked uh -oh. about on the uh, recent episode of Nippon Nikitai. Wow. Come on in, after you. Ah, yeah. oh, it's beautiful. This is uh, Acer palmatum red panda. Yeah. Red panda. Yeah, this is a selection that uh, we introduced here in America, and it just has some beautiful, beautiful red colors in the spring. Mm. And it has a tightly layering habit mm -hmm. of Makawi Etsubushi. Mm -hmm. When it leaves out, the whole tree will be a bold mm -hmm. red. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think people really like the name Red Panda. It's, mm -hmm. It seems to be yeah. really popular when it yeah. sells out really quick. But one we can't it's do amazing. enough of. We, we uh, on our last episode, we kind of talked to you about some of the new things we were doing. And this and Looking Glass Falls were mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. some that we developed here. Mm -hmm. A little inspired from seed from what we saw at your place. And wow. uh, Love this plant though. It's one that uh, our, our customers love. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Yeah, it stays tight and dense. Mm -hmm. A lot of people in America see it as almost like a little bonsai out mm -hmm. there in the landscape. Yeah. And because it stays so tight and dense and fits in small spaces. And uh, it's definitely one of our most popular trees that we do. We'll wow. put 10 trees on the website sometimes, like mm -hmm. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Mm -hmm. And uh, this might have mm -hmm. 50 to 100 trees on it That's of this crazy. tree and they'll sell out by 1001 wow. 1002 at max so they're in two minutes quick two minutes. Wow. two minutes they're all gone <laughs> very popular <laughs> it's like uh it's like sneakers <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's wonderful yeah well let's check out some more stuff This is my parents' house. Wow. This is where the nursery started. Uh, there's about 350 trees in the ground here. Mm. Uh, a little early for fall color, but mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's still beautiful. something to see. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we all started out here in the backyard and then kind of grew to where the nursery is now. So. No. Uh, this is a Japanese maple you may be familiar with, Shishigashira. Yes. The lion's head yeah. Japanese maple. Yes. Uh, it's a classic. Yes. And then this is one of our most popular Japanese maples, yes. wow. uh, Makawi Etsubusa. Mm -hmm. And it has that habit, kind of like Red Panda does. Mm -hmm. Red Panda was a seedling from Makawi Etsubusa. Right. Uh, but this one has that green color that's just mm -hmm. real lively, more something that fit more in a traditional Japanese garden. Mm -hmm. How old is this tree? So uh, most of the trees in this garden, Tim and I planted, uh, there's a few. Like this one's older than us. This one's, I'm 42. Wow. Mm -hmm. So my dad started growing Japanese maples. Uh, it's 50 years this year. So wow. he started growing Japanese maples in uh, 74. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's actually his 50th year growing trees here. Wow. Uh, so some of them are certainly a little bit older. Most of these Tim and I planted around 2000. Mm -hmm. So most of them are about 24, 25 years okay. old. Yeah, this is actually a cultivar I like right here. Mm -hmm. This is one called uh, Shiranami. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and it's an older cultivar, uh, found on a lot of the older listings in Japan wow. on Japanese maples. There's a 1700s list, which is pretty cool. We've been trying to study and mm -hmm. find out a lot about. And it's uh, one of the first cultivar lists in Japan of Japanese maples around, wow. you know, early 1700s, which is, my gosh, to have a cool collection of plants mm -hmm. back then. That's, that's right. It's interesting how we get so many different types, but it's like, Japanese maples were cultivated in Japan in the mm -hmm. 1700s. So how many plants are that sophisticated now? It's right, crazy. Right, right, yeah. This one goes through a lot of color changes though. It can be uh, bright pink in the spring mm. and then it just slowly morphs into all these different colors of yellow, then green, yellow, green. Mm. And in the fall it goes peaches, oranges, and red. So I mean, it's 
for me, for color changes, it's one of the most interesting Japanese maples, and it's a classic. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not used enough. We, it's very popular at Mr. Maple. Every time we list it, mm -hmm. it sells out really quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, Tamukiyama. Yes. Mm. So I'm so glad y'all could make it uh, over to visit. Uh, Thank you. Our dreams to kind of get back as well. So it was such a fun trip. We've, uh, we think so fondly of that trip to Japan from from everything that we got to do, especially you getting to take us to Naka Komodo Weep. And I think that was the highlight of every time I've ever traveled. That that That's probably my favorite tree in the world. I've never seen anything quite as amazing at one time. So I'm always indebted to you uh, for taking us to that. That was like the coolest thing. So we're trying to plan a pretty fun week for you. We've got some different things lined up Thank you. Uh, to go see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so one of the things we're gonna be doing is I've got a really nice gardens lined up to go visit. Peter and Jasmine Gentling. Yeah. Uh, they've got uh, Blue Briar Gardens mm -hmm. and it is beautiful. It's wow. been featured Thank in you. a lot of national publications mm -hmm. and they do a good job of mixing in nature mm -hmm. with their oh. ornamental trees. Mm -hmm. And they That's use some cool. Japanese maples yeah. that they wild collected mm -hmm. seed off of mm -hmm. in Japan. That's amazing. So we'll also swing by the Biltmore House. There's some older maples there. Not quite as old as Nakakomoto Weeping, no, <laughs> but no, 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 there's no. some old ones there. They're, uh, 120 kind of age range Homestead. planted by Olmstead. Uh, some older lace leaves. We'll go check that out and check out some of the older gardens there. Wow. The, the Olmstead is the landscaper mm. who and landscape design mm. architect who mm. designs Central Park. Wow. He's, he's kind of considered the father of modern American landscaping. Mm. Wow. So he kind of modernized landscaping in America and made it more popular mm. and kind of you know, displayed what it could be for the masses. And so we want to show you some of the Japanese maples that he planted mm. and has sort of made, you know, help bring Japanese maples into America. Mm. So we got some other cool stuff lined up. We pulled some strings. We've got some friends at Bartlett Tree, mm. uh, which is like a big arborist company here in America, mm. but they have probably the largest plant collection in the U.S. Uh, and so we're going to go there and get a tour of their grounds. There's some incredible conifers. There's a huge maple collection. Mm. You could spend a lifetime video in this place and never get to all the stuff. There's uh, wow. incredible azalea collections, rhododendron collections. Mm. So they kind of get a category, then they get every plant mm. <laughs> in that category. Wow. So uh, we'll, we'll try to get around as much of that place as we can mm. uh, and, and, and get out there. I think that'll be a good one. Yeah. And then I know that you took us to go see uh, Japanese maples growing out in the wild. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I want to do is take you out to the wild here so you can see how American maples grow wow. in the mountains of Western North Carolina. We'll take you up to the Blue Ridge Parkway mm -hmm. and show you some beautiful, you know, natural mm -hmm. scenes. Mm -hmm. But up on top of the parkway, one of our good customers mm -hmm. uh, is Missy Galloway and her gardens are amazing. She oh. has... She has over 1,200 plants there. On top of the Blue Ridge Parkway, so you have great views of the natural landscape, but then... One of the best views in Western North Carolina. You can watch the sun rise and set at her house, so it's it's up on a mountain peak, and uh, should be so fun. a lot of great maples, a lot of cool conifers too, but a lot of great maples in the ground there. And then uh, we've got, we're near, close nearby, a Dr. John and Jerry Criticos's gardens, mm -hmm. and they've got lots of large Japanese maples that they purchased from us years ago. Mm -hmm. And I sold him all of our stock plants when I lived in my parents' yeah. basement here. Yeah. So I live here and I had no more garden space. <laughs> and so he literally, uh, oh, 15 years ago, started shopping. He came here for two lace leaves and he said, I'll take everything you have in a seven gallon or bigger. Wow. So all of my stock plants went there mm -hmm. and they were so kind. They let us come and get cuttings. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was the best case scenario for me because I had no more room here. Yeah. <laughs> I had no other land and this was full. So I was able to send them my stock plants and then and then go and still use them. Mm -hmm. So they've been so gracious to so let's do that. And then right next door is the Hopewood Estate, mm -hmm. which is the biggest circumference maple I've ever seen. So oh. like the, the diameter of the tree is massive. I'll we'll take you up there and see that. You, you took us to go see Nakakomoto Weeping, which is the national treasure of Japan. Mm -hmm. And this for Japanese maples, it's, it's our national treasure. It is wow. the, big, <laughs> the biggest Japanese maple in circumference on the base. Mm -hmm of any Japanese maple I've ever seen. Wow. So I hope it'll be a fun week. We've got some fun stuff planned. Yeah. We'll definitely get you some country cooking, let you try some North Carolina foods. Excited. If there's anything y'all want to try out, let us know. We'll, we'll go. Yeah. I think my wife and I are taking you out to a fried chicken place tonight. It's really good. It's like a classic place. But. Sounds great. Thank and if you. there's any foods you want to try, we'll, you know. Mm -hmm. I think one of the more fun things on the TV show is we got to try so many unique things too. <laughs> that was just such a fun experience, so. Great. 
We want to give you that experience here as well. Thank you so much. Thank you.